Hello everybody, welcome to 2019. You made it, congratulations. So as is tradition, my first video of the year is always uh, what I got for Christmas and my birthday, because my birthday's on the 28th of December. Before I begin though, uh, New Year's resolutions. I've only really got two um, and they're pretty simple. The first one is to keep up with, uh, keep up and improve on last year's kind of um, efforts to be better to the planet. So I wanna keep making my carbon footprint smaller, keep reducing my use of plastics. Um, I'm gonna try and give more to charities that um, kind of are uh, working towards a better planet basically. And my second one is to be better to my mental health. Um, so far it's not going very well if I'm honest. <laughs> I've had a couple of really stressful days uh, and, I, and I'm having a bit of a moment, but um, I just wanna have time um, to, to kind of process things and think things through and not just rush and stress constantly. Um, that's my new resolutions. Let's begin the video. Okay, so there is a little less here than usual considering we're talking birthday and Christmas, but I'm 31 now and doing what I do for a living, I get a lot of stuff and I've kind of reached peak stuff, if that makes sense. So I decided this year to ask for less and actually ask people to sort of donate to things uh, on my behalf. And also my brother has a baby on the way, which is due really soon. So I also sort of said, if you're gonna spend something on me that I don't need, just kind of pass it on to those guys. Um, so there's a smaller list of things, but things that I like very much. Um, let's start, let's start with all the booze I got, shall we? So this is from my team at my management company called Gleam. Um, and Lucy and Millie look after me and they are the most wonderful human beings in the world. And they got me this gin here. I don't, I think it's called Gold 99.9. I'm not sure if that's the name of it or not. Like the brand is quite confusing to me, but it's um, gin and it's kind of like gold colored gin. And it's got like a really unique taste. Um, I had um, one of these the other day and it kind of, for me, tastes a little bit like a gin and tonic with a little, hint of Red Bull in it. I don't think that's, that's probably not what it's supposed to be, but I get that little, that little kind of um, vibe in there. I really like it. Uh, I also got another gin here. This comes from my brother-in-law, who was my secret Santa. Uh, and this gin has kind of like coffee mocha type notes with it. So it's a gin and tonic and your garnish is coffee beans. And it's, um, it's actually really interesting. I've got a lot of gin, as you probably know, so I think people now are really trying to push the boundary <laughs> by getting me gold gin and coffee gin. But um, I haven't had any of this since Christmas Day, so as you can see, Christmas Day was um, successful. I also got this, and I have no idea who it's from. I don't know if it's from a friend or a family member or if it's from like um, the brand or something, but it just arrived in my door with a Happy Christmas card, but no name on it or anything, so um, not sure. But it's called um, Four Fox Saki, um, and I haven't tried it yet, but I smelt it. I quite like Saki. Um, it's rice wine, um, and I don't like wine, but I like rice wine, so I will let you know what happens when I drink it. So let me talk through what my wife bought me. So birthday and Christmas. For Christmas, um, she got me a pair of swimming shorts, which are currently in the wash, but they are bright green and really good fun. And they're by a brand called um, Vilbraquim, I think. But basically, she got me those with a little note saying, we're off to Singapore. So for my birthday, um, she paid for my flights and hotel for a little trip we went to, um, which was amazing. I'd never been to Singapore before and it's, it's incredible. And actually, uh, when we first arrived, our room overlooked like the jungle. And as you open the curtains, you go like that and then there's just the jungle there and it's brilliant. I did see a spider that big. I'm not good with spiders. We were walking through the jungle and we saw like monkeys and everything and I loved every second of it. And then we saw a spider and I lost my shit actually, <laughs> I didn't play it very cool, but it was like that big and it was across a, like on a web that crossed the path we were walking through right at my head height. And it was one of those like really exotic bastards with like a long back and it was just horrendous. Uh, other than that though, Singapore's brilliant. She also got me for Christmas two other little things. The first of which is a pestle and mortar. So I'm cooking more at the moment uh, and my kitchen is actually pretty well stocked. The only thing it doesn't have is a pestle and mortar. I'm doing a thing called Gusto where they send you the ingredients you need in the right quantities to make your food so you don't waste things and also you kind of encourage you to try new recipes and stuff. But I make a lot of pesto and like kind of crushed up squishy things uh, and I didn't have pestle and mortar but now I do. And she also got me three pairs of socks, two of which are in the wash, so I'm gonna show you one pair. Um, they are all like really thick, chunky, wintry socks, which I'm a big fan of. Um, I don't know who they're by, because you don't really put branding on socks, do you? But they're all like this. I've got one pair that's cashmere. 
However, the cashmere pair, I haven't told her this, she got me the cashmere pair in like extra large, which is fine for my feet. I've got like size 10, 11 feet. So they're not extra large, but they're quite big. But I've got the skinniest ankles in the world. So although they're really comfy on my feet, they just sort of drop down my leg. Uh, but three pairs of lovely socks. Then for my birthday, from my sister and my brother-in-law, I got this. This is very cool. I don't know if it's all in shop, but it's basically four Spider-Man um, comics which were from the year of my birth, 1987. I'm so old, I'm 31, like hanging in there. But um, as you know, I love Spider-Man. I love kind of comics in general. And this is like just really kind of cool, sexy artwork that also means a lot because these were, these were made on the year I was born. Um, I don't know how they managed to last that long because I don't look in as good condition as these things. Like I'm gnarled <laughs> and hanging in there, but these look great. Now I've got three things here from the in-laws. Um, I can't remember what's birthday and what's Christmas because I was traveling to Singapore and they gave me everything in one day and I've forgotten what's what. But the first thing they got me is um, a dog. Not actually a dog, they sponsored a dog at Batsy's Dog's Home for me. My dog is Daisy um, and you know, I think it's lovely that she's looked after and I'm contributing to that via a gift. Um, what I love, I mean, I've got everything so I don't need any more stuff. So it's really lovely for someone to get me a gift that um, does good, you know? Um, so thanks very much, Neela Mel, the buzz. They also got me a lovely woolly hat. I don't really wear hats that often because I've got a tiny head and only some suit me and I haven't actually seen myself in the mirror with this one yet. So if I look awful, tell the buzz. Uh, and some PJ bottoms, both from the white company. I am spending more and more time um, writing at my laptop, which means I'm spending less and less time out and about doing things. So. I've been wearing like tracky bottoms and pajama bottoms and probably no t-shirt or like a big hoodie or something quite a lot recently. Um, so these are great and they're super comfy. From my sister-in-law, I got the Dynasties book that accompanies the show. If you haven't watched the show, it's so good. Like it's like a must watch um, animal documentary. It basically follows one, two, three, four, five, um, families of animals so you've got like a troop of um, chimpanzees and you've got a what do you call a, a herd of penguins I don't know what you call them not a herd obviously but you know like a, a whole chunk of penguins uh, and a pride of lions and that and it's, it's really fascinating and the things that they go through I'm watching it I care more about the animals than I do about humans when I'm watching things <laughs> I don't I'm just that kind of guy but um, the, the chimp in particular Oh my God, it's harrowing, but such good watch. Um, and this is the accompanying book and I haven't read it yet, but I can't wait to. And from my assistant slash partner in crime slash really good buddy, Georgia, um, I got two things. This is my Christmas gift, which is the gin game, which is basically a drinking board game, right? <laughs> That's the best idea ever. And also a table for two at Dan Lenoir. Now, if you've seen About Time, which is a lovely rom-com, um, it is the restaurant they go to, which is pitch black. All the staff that work there are blind and the idea is that you go there having one sense removed um, so while you're enjoying the food it's supposed to kind of heighten your sense of taste as well as your other senses too and I think it's such a lovely idea and what a unique experience so um, yeah that is me done for Christmas and my birthday I feel like it's gonna be a good year so um, keep your chin up and um, I was gonna say rock on but no one says rock on I know I'm 31 now but God, I'm not that old um, have a really good day bye